Hello, hello, hello. It is cold outside. I'm Bartleby. This is Isaac. You now have all the information you need to watch this video. <laughs> and we're at it again with Finding of Isaac Repentance. Just as regular as Death and Taxes, it's the Friday Isaac Upload. We're going to pursue the Polaroid and Negative Dream. Uh, I believe we're going to go after Isaac again. That's the one that's closest. And we're going to try it with Kane. We've won Zilch with Kane. So let's go ahead and start getting those completion markers done. Kane's an interesting character. Uh, well. <laughs> and as he takes a full heart of damage. Uh, starts off with luck. Bonus luck. You know, not too bad. Personally, I would rather play as Judas. But, you know, we'll take Cain. Yeah, for those of you that, uh, that don't know, I live in Tennessee. And if we get a winter, it's not really much of one. The temperature fluctuates down here. We may have a, you know, a cold day, and then the next day to be in the 50s or 60s. You just never really know what's going on in Tennessee. Well, it is currently three degrees, and it's not going to be above freezing until Monday or Tuesday. So definite fun times there. We'll take the piercing tears. Now, of course, if I could get spectral tears as well, what a time that would be. But yeah, it's rather cold. We've got the falsehoods dripping. And uh, that's about all we can do. And I'm aware, of course, that, uh, you know, three degrees isn't actually cold. One of my coworkers woke up this morning and was negative 21, I believe. And he didn't really bat an eye about that. But it's cold for down here. Thankfully, we have food, we have everything we need, really. So as long as the power stays on, you know, we'll be all right. I mean, if the power goes off, we'll still be all right, but it'd be slightly annoying. And as I know, not everybody watches these in order. Somebody may be watching this 10 years from now. Who, who knows? But uh, the Steam Cell started today. The Winter Steam Cell. And I have added some games to my library. Mostly single player. Uh, investigation games. Horror games. Weird games. That'll be fun to upload. My, my standard type of fare outside of roguelikes. But also have uh, two interesting things. If you remember my old pal WM Nick, he also bought Isaac. He wanted something new to play, trying to figure out something. So he figured he'd give Isaac a shot. Of course, I, you know, I wished him the best because it's a, it's a dreary road this game is. But I had forgotten that there was an actual co-op element in the game now. I seem to remember when Rebirth first came out, there was co-op, but the second player can only play as a familiar or something like that. It wasn't a, it wasn't a true co-op experience. That seems to have changed, and now two people can actually play the game. So I don't know. 
So we're going to try it. I, I may have some... Uh, I'm obviously still going to keep my normal uploads going. But I may have some some co-op Isaac gameplay coming up. That'd be pretty neat. And then also, uh, <clears throat> we both got Risk of Rain too. And I loved the first Risk of Rain. It was hard as balls. And uh, I've played just a little bit of the second one. And it seems like it'd be a lot of fun, so that may join the pile of daily or weekly games. But we'll see. You know, the goal is always to add more. If you like listening to my, my southern ramblings, but you don't like Isaac, hey, I got something for you. You know, I try to keep it varied. That room sucks. I guess that's fine. It's it's kind of a non-item. It's an extra life, but not really. A, it would be a completion with Blue Baby. Oh, and I could have re-rolled it too. I'm a dingus. I could have re-rolled it because I have the shard. Oh well, it's whatever. Magic fingers. You know that's that's actually not terrible. Deals two times Isaac damage plus ten to all enemies in the room. As long as I have coins, I could make that happen. Then you got blue map, which is also very nice. Let's do blue map. Let's do blue map. Let's do that. You know I struggle with the secret rooms. This will allow us to not have that problem anymore. You know, sometimes you can get lucky and the secret room has something crazy. If not, you're usually looking at a coin or a bomb or a key or something. So like this could potentially be a soul heart. Let's see. Empress, the magician. Huh. I wonder if you use this once. Oh, that's a trinket. That's a trinket. Okay. Rip. Let's take the Empress and <clears throat> using them a boss. Quick work of that fight. And we got a soul heart. And we got a health up. Let's, let's just keep going here. Mm. I mean, we'll just for precedence, we'll take it. And we'll get a black heart in, in exchange. Spades didn't quite pay out very well, but whatever. Uh, no, not for one chest. Oh, I could use a damage up. Okay. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I had an item that I didn't have. I'm getting my runs confused. <clears throat> I don't remember what the item's called, but it's something that allows you to open chests and doors and what have you with a uh, bombs.
definitely don't have that on this run. At this point, anything up would be great. It's another one of those runs where it's like, hey, you're getting stuff. But none of the stuff is hugely effective. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that's all right. It's all right. Double of nothing would be all right, I guess. It's not quite what I'm going for. Okay, we have a key. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. More red hearts. Gotta hate it. I don't know. I don't know if that actually rerolls the contents of the sack or if it's supposed to change the sack to something else. I don't know. Another dice shard? Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, how many of you spotted that in real time before I screwed up? It's all right. Let's go out here and grab this. I mean, we have a familiar. annoying you go down here Kind of worthless. 
but at least we can say we used it. Place a movable cursor for a few seconds and summons a ghost that will, depending on the cursor position, open doors or chests, fetch an item, 50% chance to steal from the shop, devil, attack an enemy until it dies, explode walls, rocks, shopkeepers, angel statues, machines, and beggars. Hmm. I've never used this item. Yeah, not the... I mean, we have it, right? We have it. This game could potentially be interesting. I don't think there's anything I can do with it on this floor. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It could be, it could be interesting. Actually, <laughs> give me two seconds. I'm gonna pull up exactly what all that does again. Because that did a lot of things. <clears throat> so let me just read this again. So basically if I use it on an item, a pickup, a trinket, a chest, a red chest, a spike chest, whatever, a shop, a devil room, a black market. There's a 50% chance I could get that item for free. If I put it on a lock chest, whatever, bomb chest, it'll unlock it for free. It can open any door. Including the door to Mega Satan, which isn't really a thing yet. Okay, interesting. I mean, I think the best use of it would be a Devil Room item or whatever premium items in the shop. Obviously, I could use it on a boss room as well for damage, because it would it would essentially damage the boss until either it killed it or I killed it. Yeah, we don't want that. Thanks for the free secret room. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks. No tinted rocks. Oh, that's wild. Both secret rooms are all attached to this one, one room here. See, I could get like the dream catcher for free. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Oh, gee, bunch of red hearts. That's exactly what I wanted. 
can I get a room like that with the soul hearts? And you know, since I just lost my double room chance, how great a soul heart would be. I can't imagine a room full of soul hearts like that. No tinted rocks. This, this game just hates me. I saw that one coming. I zigged when I should have zagged. Okay, so like, okay, well, never mind. We got lucky there and the rock got blown up. The rock got blown up. All right, you gotta give me something game, come on. Something other than pain and misery. Cain in misery? Maybe that's the, uh... Maybe Cain and suffering will be the, uh, video title. Okay, now see, that... That's, that's a good item. It's not great, but it's good. And thank you so much. Actually... Jesus, fuck. If the game will work with me, I have a plan. If the game will work with me. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay. Maybe the game's gonna work with me. Okay, we're getting plenty of stuff, random stuff. I like stuff. Loaded up on stuff. Again, that, that's great. Yay for stuff. Here's what I'm hoping for. I need the game to spawn a devil beggar in here. Uh. <laughs> okay. That could have been incredible. Let's just blow this thing up. Could have been incredible. Okay, let's... So much for that.
Come on. God fucking damn it. Okay, we get the pentagram. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. This run is just so annoying. If I had just one more tier hit him before he did uh, Brimstone, but no. He's going to get two hits on me. I hate it. And then, of course, I wait to use my item. I read all about it. I find what I feel will be the perfect circumstance, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Anybody that has watched a, even a single one of my Isaac videos, they just know. Here's the thing. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to take it with me and see if we can get another six ticks. Or a, a battery, you know, what have you. See, how do I get to that secret room? But if I can get six ticks, then I can guarantee one full heart. And then I can just go back to my regular schedule program. I don't know why, like for some reason, like when you play as Kane now, does the game just throw you rooms full of red hearts? It's very puzzling to me. I've never seen so many red heart rooms in my life. You're not getting any keys. Come on, game. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> So there's a full full heart. I will take this because now I'll have bookworm. There we go. See now now we have a pickle. We have three, well, we have several potentially good items. Wow. Just give me every book in the game. Okay. 
I think the smart item to take now, because we're not going to get six more ticks in fucking hell. We're not going to get six more ticks on this floor. So I think it's smart to take this back. I'm not interested in Book of Bilal just because I feel like I've had that a lot lately. Maybe that's just because I played Judas recently, but I feel like that item is not new and exciting, even though it's great. Game does not want to give me tenant rocks, does it? Okay. I think we just try to steal the devil item. Nearly easy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what a buffet. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, dude. Okay, well, we got Brimstone with a fat... Look at that tier 8. Oh, my God. We take this. We just use it. We just have to use it once, yeah. We ain't gonna go crazy. Uh, normally, I like Headless Baby, but I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Okay. So, see, the game completely redeemed itself. We're gonna stick with this item. You know, unless something... I don't really know what else would possibly come up. We're gonna stick with this. I think we have the potential for some magic here. Because let's think about it realistically, like the item didn't work the first time. But it got me Brimstone for free, and it saved me two red hearts. So. That's a... That's a pretty big win. Look at that. Ridiculous. It's over. <laughs> Let's see. Double bombs. I don't mind that at all. Actually, yeah, for 70 cents. For 70? For 7 cents, we'll just take that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. Champion belt would be nice. So let's see if we can get 10 coins. Now see, I could use my, I could use my item to get that. Tinted rocks? No tinted rocks. So bizarre. I love that that dude hit me. <laughs> the fucking red hearts again. I love it. I love it. Actually, I'm I'm definitely going to get four ticks. So let me just try to get this. It doesn't actually open the chest. Oh, I thought it opened the chest. Brings it to Isaac. Uh. 
What can I say? I misread it. I think it would be beneficial to drop some bombs here. Yep. Doubled my keys. Not mad. Still no tinted rocks. Uh, we'll use the world next floor. Joker. Wow. And there's our money. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> oh man all right we are we are fans of mr me we just got ooh, i mean we got we got a uh, free leviathan You know what? Yes, because this is going to be insane. All right, let me see here. We'll just bring that in. Hang on to it. Boss is down here. Yeah, like I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Easy peasy, look at this. And we get synth oil. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. And we get an XL floor. Oh yeah. World. Definitely need it on I'm glad I saved it. Because holy shit, what a floor this is. Now, unfortunately, it looks like I'm just going to be sitting with a full charge on this for quite a while. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Yeah, the Empress is great. Let's see. It's really not going to matter until... <coughs> Excuse me. It's really not going to matter until the Double Room anyways, if we get one. I'm just trying to think, because... Whatever items I get in the... Um... Whatever items I get in the boss room, you know, they'll be singular items. So yeah, so I mean, I really only need one charge. There's not a shop on this floor. So yeah, it's fine. All greedy, don't stand a chance. 
Look at your non-spectral tears. Now, one thing I don't remember, I'm because I'm, I'm not going to go in there just yet. I can't remember if you get an exo floor here at this point in the game. If this is it, like if the if the final, yeah, I think I think the last boss is it lives. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So this is the last floor, and it, it may have shown that on the map, but I just didn't catch it. I'm not trying to call my shot too early, but um, yeah, this Isaac fight's a dumb deal. Short of my computer blowing up, I can't see uh, anything that would cause me to lose this fight in the, the next few minutes. Which even then you got cloud saves, so we're safe there too. Okay. Give me that tinted heart. Tinted tinted rock. I don't know if you're keeping track of my stats, but uh, my damage isn't even all that great. It's it's fine, but it could be so much better. And I'm still just rolling through enemies. Because I have had some absurd ball smelting damage in my time. Yes. Yes. Hello. Okay. I'll take two flies. Oh, we have a whole other side of the map to go to. No, silly, we don't want that. Yeah, see, for rooms like that, brimstone is just absurd. Absolutely absurd. Oh, I finally got hit. That had the potential to be great. Oh my god.
Now here's the deal. Because these, these pills have everything, so... I'm not going to take any of them, because I've already... I've made it too far without it. But inevitably, some of those tears, or some of those pills would be good. We're going to skedaddle right over here. Fill my health back up. And then go run through these bosses. I don't even think I've fought Mama Gertie yet. My damage isn't like phenomenal, but it's not bad. Ooh, flooded caves. Let's pop in here. I don't really. I mean, might as well take, try and take it, right? That's the whole point of this. Okay. It's fine. Uh, let's hop out of here. Grab that. Do this. Let's do this. Give me some items. Make me stronger. I don't need tears up. I don't need health up. I want some damage. Tinderdrox Ahoy. Yep. Okay, we're getting to an absurd amount of them at this point. Like, where's... Where is my... Small rock? you for the money. Money equals power would be an amazing get at this point. Wax on, wax off, motherfucker. <laughs> it's absurd. I see this would be a perfect build for a, um, What do they call it? A, 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 uh... What do they call it? 
after you beat the lamb when you can run through the game again a redo a rerun whatever the hell it's called whatever the hell it's called like this would be a build I could easily clear the game with again and again and get more powerful as I went sure for the hell of it let's take it take the eternal heart for the memes but sadly this run's about to be over what a shame we'll get there eventually the negative will lead to the lamb ow ow And there we go. Just like that. Coin bag. Challenge 24. The Polaroid. Challenge 27. Challenge 35. Beautiful. Polaroid is great. So, on the next run, we'll be able to use the Polaroid to go even further in the game. And, uh, I'll probably do that once and then finish up the, uh, the Devil Flights because we need to get the negative as well. We'll figure it out. We'll get everything unlocked. But the Polaroid and negative are the next main things we need. I want to thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm thank you so much for subscribing, unsubscribing, liking, disliking, commenting, and not commenting. All of those things are great. And I hope you stay warm during this weekend. Have fun celebrating whatever you do or just have fun existing. Either either one, you know, suits me just fine. But until then, we'll see you on the next one.